Antonio. Hey. hey, when you win Best Ensemble, do you all get a statue? What, excuse me? When you win the Best Ensemble, do you all get a statue? <laughs> yes, all, we all go. I, I thought it was going to be just one or production would get it, but then they gave uh, us each one, one statue for each uh, member. Wow, how many statues is that? Like, I like, uh, it was like six. Yeah, six. That's awesome. One for each. Your actor. name on it and everything. My name, they, they put your name in that moment. They put it, they Incredible. engrave it in that moment. You're huge. Thank you. You got a lot of Instagram <laughs> followers too. Yeah, well, I did my entire career in Mexico City. My entire, I just moved here seven years ago. But, uh, More than Canelo. Yeah. <laughs> Does that, that surprise you? I know. He's, uh, well, he's a good friend of mine. Oh, okay. But I started earlier than him. That's, that's why. Do you guys have a friendly rivalry about that? Uh, no, but I should. I'm gonna start teasing him. How much? <laughs> how many followers he has? I think like thir thirteen five. Ah, 12, five. that's nothing, Canelo. <laughs> Beat me. <laughs> hey, I gotta ask you something. You know, I'm sure this may, probably was discussed. A lot of people are talking about, you know, the strange kind of. It's gotta be strange to be celebrating the award shows while there's the Ukraine invasion going on. Like, was there a feeling of that? Did you? It's it's <laughs> it's awkward, but. Um... At the same time, it's uh, we need to keep moving forward. Yeah. But it's important to address uh, every time we have a camera in front to address that this need to stop. Yeah. Uh, the only thing I would like to say is that I, I, at least I'm really proud that this guy, the president from Ukraine, I think he's a very smart guy. He has shown all the leaders around the world how smart he is yeah and uh and i'm very proud because he's a comedian he's a, exactly he's a fellow performer he's fellow, fellow comedian. performer so probably we need more comedians and less politicians has he inspired <laughs> has his example inspired you, propose... you to like uh maybe go into politics in mexico oh yeah that, that my, my wife was <laughs> this morning that because someone was mentioning that in mexico this morning in a radio show she said somebody said that um we're talking about the, the, um, uh, Vladimir and uh, that he was a comedian. It was like Eugenio be becoming a president here in Mexico. Uh, but no, I would never do that. No? <laughs> but look how never, well. never say never. Yeah, I mean... Never say never. I, I, I do agree. But uh, at the same time, politics, it's... Uh, he's, he's inspiring the whole world right now. I mean, you wouldn't want to jump I in. I know, but uh, Mexico, it's a different animal. I think it's really complicated. <laughs> different yeah. breed. It's a mess, so I wouldn't get there. What do you think about celebrity presidents? Do you think in this day and age that, you know, America, we had Trump. Uh, was, uh, some people think it was good. Some people think it was bad. What do you think? Like, is there a place in this day and age for celebrity presidents? No, I, 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 I don't like. I, I mean, I probably would go for celebrities that are not politicians. But uh, yeah, I, I was not a big fan of Mr. But, Trump. Sure, <laughs> but do they not have kind of a an upper hand in that they understand the media landscape maybe more than a normal straight-ahead politician, and that's yeah. so important these days. I think that it's that's important, but more important than. Uh, knowing how to handle media is actions. Yeah. That speaks more than anything else. More than words. Do yeah. you think, one, you one, one last thing, do you think that with the invasion going on, should we pause the award shows for now until it's resolved? It could take forever. Yeah. Remember, Afghanistan, we thought it was going to be something kind of short. And it took like 20 years. So I think we should support it. Uh fight for peace, but unfortunately we can stop uh, life all around the world. So, But uh, I think we should talk about it and address it in the award shows. It's better Hopefully to have the platform to support and speak out. Exactly. I think, I hope at the Oscars many, many actors would speak uh, uh, <clears throat> um, talk about peace and how to stop this crazy guy. Yeah. Awesome. All right. Thank you so much. Thank hey, you. Wait.
Vegas, Lincoln Center, Vegas? Yeah. The war's been. Uh, we're not people. Yes. <laughs> Drinking tequila and tacos. <laughs> tequila and tacos. Okay, maybe uh, Andrew and Lynn Manuel will join you for exactly, that. Exactly, exactly. Right. Thank, Thank you so much. much. Appreciate you. Thank you. Ciao, Genio. Gracias. Hasta luego, gracias.